What up, YouTube? Uh, if you hear some background noise or see me look up, it's because I'm watching the Bruins Maple Leafs game, and I got the money line on the Leafs, big money line. Right now, they're reviewing the goal for a good goal on goalie interference. Uh, oh, he nudges them a little bit. I don't know. This this goal is gonna hold up, but if it holds up, I'll be real excited. But anyway, this video is my. I've been getting so many requests, message requests for the ending of Endgame. So here are my official Avengers Endgame predictions. <laughs> Warning: spoilers ahead for the ending. Okay. You you can stop the video when you get when, when I tell when, when I get to the fourth act, but this will be a four act movie, the three hour runtime. So three forty minute acts. The Russo brothers are incredibly the best pace, the pa the pacing of Infinity War, and Captain America Winter Soldier blows my mind. That they're the best comic book storytellers uh, of all time. Uh, uh, Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight was the best comic book movie ever, but uh, <clears throat> Nolan has obvi obviously has an issue with dialogue in his writing. Um, you know, where is she? Well, I love the line, it's just corny. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Interstellar especially, Matthew McConaughey's <laughs> lines in that. I love Interstellar, don't get me wrong. Christopher Nolan is my favorite director. But um, the Russo brothers are clearly the, the perfect guys for the job. If you don't know, if you guys haven't seen the show Community, you should start binging Community immediately. Community is the brainchild of Dan Harmon, the creator of Rick and Morty, and... The Russo Brothers. Okay. So, Community... Community got... When it aired. I remember when it aired. Um, so, in context, I was in 7th grade uh, when Community started. The last year with Michael in the office. So, that was my Thursday night. My Thursday night was Community Parks and Rec, The Office, 30 Rock. Outsource too, Kaz Baladi. If you're watching, <laughs> there's a shout out to you. Um, I also forgot to shout out my friend Samuel William. He's a designer. I wore his awesome branded sweatshirt in my last video. Uh, so make sure you check out his Instagram, Samuel William. He's an absolutely amazing designer. He's gonna get. He's gonna go places. All right, back to my end game predictions. So these are just again. I know how the, how it's gonna end. I don't know how the movie is gonna go. I only know the ending. So when I get to the fourth act, stop. <laughs> stop watching. So. So, <clears throat> I believe we open with a shot right where we left off. And I, we open with Hawkeye, that shot from the trailer of Hawkeye teaching his daughter. And his daughter snaps away in front of him. And Hawkeye becomes Ronan just like that, right off the bat. That's how we're going to kick off Endgame. And I think that's a really great way to do it. Um... Because I cannot wait for Ronan. We all, if you haven't seen the trailers, I'm sorry. Spoilers. Uh, cover your ears for spoilers. But Ronan is clearly coming in this, in, into this uh, movie. I'm going to play a big part too. Um, so that's, a, that's the opening shot. The first act. I don't want any action in the whole first act. I want, I believe that they should be, suffer, just suffer and deal with the consequences. 
of the loss. There was the in the first trailer, them in kind of like a group therapy session just with the surviving Avengers. And an empty Yankee Stadium. Fuck you, Thanos. I loved you, Thanos. I truly loved you. In Infinity War. And I saw that trailer. And you snapped away all of Yankee Stadium. How could you? How could you? So... Oh, the goal stood. I, I, I didn't look. <laughs> the Leafs are up one nothing on the Bruins. <laughs> All right, back to back to Endgame. So the first act, suffering, dealing with the the fallout. Second act. So these acts, by the way, will be broken into forty minutes because that's how the Russos do it. They're the they're amazing at pacing their movies, just like J.J. J. Abrams is. That's why he's doing Star Wars. Yeah, that's why Disney brings in these people for pace reasons. Uh, Ron Howard. That's why he was brought in as the replacement, uh, which is also and it was also why uh, Solo was a disaster. If you don't know about Solo, about why Solo was a disaster, uh, Christopher Lord and Phil Miller were. Or may be, may have that reversed. <laughs> um, were fired as the directors and replaced by Ron Howard. Ron Howard, you know, very tenured director. George Lucas's protege, easy savior for Solo. That ruined Solo. Christopher Lord, or the the original. I'm just gonna refer to them as the original directors of Solo made a little movie called Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which I haven't made a video about on here, but if you look on my account and scroll down to the very beginning of the account, you, it was all about how much I loved that movie, and it was my favorite movie. I thought, not only was it my favorite movie of 2018, I thought it was the best movie of 2018. I thought it deserved a Best Picture nomination, and I... Not no, not just that. I thought it deserved best picture win, but I was I thought it was a horrible snub that it did not get nominated for best picture. Horrible. And also, if you watch the Oscars and you, if you don't know what happened when they cut cut when they cut off Christopher Lord, you know, or, he, or maybe it was Phil Miller, I don't remember. You know what he wanted to do? Thank Stanley. That's it. They cut. They cut that. So fuck you, Oscars. You keep ruining everything too. Woo! The Leafs just scored two nothing Toronto. We're gonna make big money tonight. The Yanks. I can't watch the Yankees game right now. Uh, uh, Yankees Network on NBC Sport. So as I live out in Wisconsin, for me to watch the Yankees. Uh, I gotta use NBC Sports Go, and uh, or NBC Sports Live or Fox Sports Go. Yeah, that's the one uh, for Y for YES and YES is showing a rematch of the Champions League game yesterday. Soccer over the Yankees. I mean, come on, we're playing the Ro I get it, we're playing the Royals, but come on, come on. The Yankees, though, last time I checked, it was 3-2. I'm, I'm making money off of them. They're going to win the game. Come on, I have no doubt about that. I just got trust in my Bombers. So, uh, sorry, I just looked up at the game. Back to end game. Second act, more suffering. Um, some action, but suffering. I don't, I don't know how... So, actually, no, di no. Here's where I think the second act will go. I think the first act will be all suffering, and then the second act is going to have when the characters start to get together. When So, obviously, in the first act, uh, we'll, we'll, I haven't been more specific enough. In the first act, Ant-Man obviously has to find a way out of the quantum realm. 
I don't know how he's going to do that. I have no clue. But obviously it's going to be super important to... Uh, uh, <laughs> to super... Im- or the quantum energy is gonna, that he harvested in there, that could get him out. But uh, also he could just have it and that energy could be huge for them. So Ant-Man... Who is one... By the way, Ant-Man is low-key, like, in my top, like, three favorite Avengers. Because I love Paul Rudd. I love the Ant-Man movies. They're so great. Uh, I highly recommend them. I think they're just fun. They're what Marvel... Okay, we'll get to the end. That will be the ending. Because I don't want to spoil it when we're running out of time here. So, we gotta move on. Second act. uh, That's when... Uh, the characters start to get together. Ant-Man and Bruce Banner are going to collaborate. Let's see, who else is going to collaborate? Oh, uh, Iron Man obviously has to get back home uh, with Nebula. So they're going to do that same formula, the ocean style, uh, you know, the Oceans movie style, like in Infinity War, where they break the characters into clicks. But just for the beginning of the movie because obviously we're going to pick up where we left off um so nebula and tony apparently i thought captain marvel was going to save tony but apparently uh, uh, the according to spoiler alert, if you haven't seen captain marvel spoilers pop, hit mute uh um <clears throat> in the after credit scene of captain marvel uh Captain Marvel shows right up, so she's there, and but we don't we don't know if Tony's there, honestly we don't. Actually, we do, we do know Tony is not there. Uh, we do know because the death they're looking at the death count and the death count's still rising. So uh, Tony and Nebula will get will figure out how to get how to jumpstart the Nebula with it might kill Nebula. She might, Nebula might sacrifice herself to save Tony. And that's, you know, uh, we're in the end game now. If you don't get the title, if you haven't explained that, if you haven't understood that yet, that's a huge part to the end. So Doctor Strange's last line before he gave up the time stone, or his last... Yeah, his last line after he gave up the time stone. When Tony asked him, why'd you do that? We're in the end game now. I mean that, and the the title had been leaked uh, for, I think it was leaked back in like June, maybe July. I have text messages to prove it, that I called it. (laughs) So, um... That the Doctor Strange one one way to victory will work, and uh, so where were we? We were in the second act still. Uh, Shuri, I don't now. I know Marvel told us Shuri got snapped. I don't think Shuri got snapped. I think Shuri is missing. As Sherry is missing. Woo! The Leafs just scored. 2-0 Toronto. We're going to make big money tonight. The Yanks. I can't watch the Yankees game right now. Uh, uh, Yankees Network on NBC Sports. So, as I live out in Wisconsin, for me to watch the Yankees, uh, I got to use NBC Sports Go. and uh, Or NBC Sports Live. Or Fox Sports Go. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, for y, for YES, and YES is showing a rematch of the Champions League game yesterday. Soccer over the Yankees. I mean, come on. We're playing the... Ro- I get it, we're playing the Royals, but come on. Come on. The Yankees, though, the last time I checked, it was 3-2. I'm, I'm making money off of them. They're going to win the game. Come on, I have no doubt about that. I got trust in my Bombers. So, uh, sorry, I just looked up at the game. Back to end game. Second act, more suffering. Um, some action, but 
suffering. I don't, I don't know how. So, actually, no, no. Here's where I think the second act will go. I think the first act will be all suffering, and then the second act is gonna have when the characters start to get together. When so obviously in the first act, uh, we'll, we'll, I haven't been more specific enough. In the first act, Ant Man obviously has to find a way out of the quantum realm. I don't know how he's gonna do that. I have no clue. But obviously, it's gonna be super important to, uh, uh, <laughs> to super Im- or the quantum energy is gonna that he harvested in there. That could get him out, but uh, also he could just have it, and that energy could be huge for them. So Ant Man, who is one, by the way, Ant Man is low key like in my top like three favorite Avengers because I love Paul Rudd. I love the Ant Man movies; they're so great. Uh, I highly recommend them. I think they're just fun. I, they're what Marvel. Okay, we'll get to the end. That will be the ending. Because I don't want to spoil it and we're running out of time here. So, we got to move on. Second act. Uh, that's when uh, the characters start to get together. Ant-Man and Bruce Banner are going to collaborate. Uh, let's see, who else is going to collaborate? Oh, uh, Iron Man obviously has to get back home uh, with Nebula. So, they're going to do that same formula, the ocean style of... Uh, the you know the oceans movie style like in Infinity War where they break the characters into clicks but just for the beginning of the movie because obviously we're gonna pick up where we left off um, so Nebula and Tony apparently I thought Captain Marvel was gonna save Tony but apparently uh, as the according to spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Captain Marvel spoilers pop, hit mute. Uh, um, in the after credit scene of Captain Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel shows right up, so she's there, and, but we don't, we don't know if Tony's there, honestly, we don't, actually, we do, we do know Tony is not there, uh, we do know because the death, they're looking at the death count, and the death count's still rising, so, uh, Tony and Nebula will get will figure out how to get how to jumpstart the Nebula with it might kill Nebula. She might sac- Nebula might sacrifice herself to save Tony, and that's you know, uh, we're in the end game now. If you don't get the title, if you haven't explained that, if you haven't understood that yet, that's a huge part to the end. So Doctor Strange is. Last line before he gave up the time stone. Or the, his last... Yeah, his last line after he gave up the time stone. When Tony asked him, why'd you do that? We're in the end game now. I mean that... And the the title had been leaked... Uh, for... I think it was leaked back in like June... Maybe July. I have text messages to prove it that I called it. <laughs> so um, that the Doctor Strange one one way to victory will work. And uh, so where were we? We were in the second act still. Uh, Shuri. I don't now. I know. Marvel told us Shuri got snapped. I don't think Shuri got snapped. I think Shuri is missing, as Shuri is missing in the trailer. But I believe Shuri has disappeared and become the Black Pantheress. And she'll be the Black Pantheress in this movie. And and she'll she won't be she won't be invo- so you'll assume that she was snapped. She'll be a late reveal of it. Probably because they did reshoots on this movie, so there'll probably be a, a very late reveal. And I'm really running out of time here, so I gotta get to the end. Uh, I'm gonna stop the video now. But I think Shiri is actually hit, hiding in Wakanda and gonna become the Black 
the Black Pantheress. And uh, she won't be revealed till way later on into the movie, uh, late in the second act. Uh, she'll be part of the team. That say they're gonna team. Well, uh, so you've obviously noticed those shots. Um, they've digitally edited those. I don't know if you noticed them that, but the shots in the commercials of them walking in their flight suits. By the way, hate hate the. That they went in white suits. I like the design. I even bought one with a different design. Uh, but I want a dark suit so badly. So I hope that it's digitally edited to be dark suits. Um, <sighs> boy. Now, uh, where were we after Sherry's Black Panthers? Okay, we're on to the third act, I think. Uh, I talked about how Banner and Ant-Man are going to collaborate yeah the clicks um we're on to the third act now and uh so the third act the fight <laughs> the, the fight <laughs> that's all i have to say there's been no, very little action shots there or uh, what i'm saying there it why i think this movie is going to be so so good and so serious and like a real film like that could get nominated for oscars potentially i mean uh, like black panther got nominated so it's obviously possible um so <sighs> uh, the fight man it's gonna be one hell of a fight it's gonna be a long one too. Them versus Thanos. So what? I, oh, but I forgot to mention about the digital editing. All the trailers. There have been digital editing in all the trailers and commercials, and uh, so Tony was a, and Captain Marvel were eventually added into the shot of them walking in the flight suits after Captain Marvel got released, and uh, the trailer came out with Tony that coming back. Uh, the, I, I like that they're doing the trailer. Kevin Feige seems to simply have, what I like, why his movies have done so well is Kevin Feige seems to just, uh, he um, respects his audience intelligence, simply. He just, he expects us to get it and we do. And so that's why we, we always love it. Even even the the worst of the Marvel movies recently have all left us pretty satisfied. They stick to a formula that work. Uh, with, I you know I'm as I've said before I'm a DC guy not a Marvel guy, but uh, the MCU has obviously kicked the DCEU's ass. But Shazam was great, so to go see Shazam. Uh, so. I don't know how this fight will go down. I have no idea how this fight is gonna go down because there have been no action shots in the trailers. Uh, well, there have been a few, but they're so, you know, quick cut. I haven't watched any trailer breakdown. I watched the trailer, but, because the second I knew the, okay, before we get to the fourth act, this is where you're gonna wanna turn off for spoilers. Because I know the ending. The fourth act. <sighs> um, they will kill Thanos. I, I will bet. I will bet with 100, with, with plus 300 odds. Anyone can take that action. That Thanos will die between... Two hours and twenty minutes, and two hours and twenty-four minutes into the screen, into the movie, into the runtime. I mean, this, so that will be the end of the third act. Most movies have th three acts. The fourth act is very simple. Have you seen? If you have seen Lord of the Rings, you know what I'm talking about. The, the fourth act. <laughs> We're closing up all the storylines. So, how they're going to beat Thanos, there's alternate realities. 
in these alternate rea Doctor Strange has already confirmed this. The uh the last forty minutes I haven't watched, but have been uh they have been released. So uh you know, I that's what I posted that on, actually on Instagram and got all sorry. Sorry, I'll edit that out later. Boston has, has there's one second left in the game and Toronto's up 2-1. So, I'm looking at a lot of money if Toronto if this one second goes my way. Uh so stay tuned for a good live reaction. Uh let me th well while they're thinking this out, let me think about it. Okay, let me talk about the ending. How's again? With Doctor Strange has confirmed that there are multiple realities already, or not multiple realities, infinite realities, infinite universes. Just like Rick and Morty, you can go see my highlight that spoils the whole thing. Um, so, in these uh, infinite universes, they're gonna use this fourth act to close off storylines for the characters that are done that some will die i'll tell you who will die do you want spoiler alert close your ears if you don't want to know who's gonna die hulk will die uh iron man will die thor is a 50 50 and uh war machine will definitely die uh <laughs> um I'm trying to think of their characters. Um, uh, I think that's it. I think that's it that will die. Uh, the rest will will survive the fight, especially Captain Marvel. Hulk is going to die. Uh, so the reason these alternate realities, some of them will have to like be dead in these realities. Like, like Steve said in the trailer, like, this is going to work. Be or Black Widow said, this is going to work, Steve. And he said, I don't know what I'm going to do if it doesn't. And the look, it looked so, it was, it looked so well directed, that shot on his face. Just like the shot of Cap holding uh, Thanos' gauntlet with his bare strength. Oh my God, that was such an incredible shot in Infinity War. The Russo brothers, they really get this. Like, I cannot wait for this movie. Um, but so this is how they're going to close off the storylines. Uh, Captain America will end up in the 40s and finally get his dance with Peggy Carter. And uh, Black Widow uh, will end up with uh, some life where she wasn't, where in her past... Uh, you know, she wasn't, uh, or she wasn't an assassin. She was a good person her whole life. Um, Hawkeye obviously gets his family back. Uh, so those are three good examples that I can think of at the top of my head. Um, obviously time travel is going to be involved in this movie in some way. So perhaps uh, Doctor Strange put... Uh, put a time loop a spell on the time stone to put the avengers in a time loop so that they could so that they could go back and then prepare for a fight or maybe go fight maybe it's three hours because they're gonna in the second act they're gonna go fight thanos lose and then they're gonna realize they're in a time loop and th so then they know how to win and they get get the job done maybe that's how it ends uh, that's a little bit far-fetched for me, personally. But, actually, you know, that might be my theory. That might be how it ends. But, uh, anyway, it will end with them killing Thanos in a long fourth act. And here's why they're wrapping up the stories. It's very simple. So we can go back... This, so Disney just acquired 20th Century Fox. So now they own the X-Men... Now they own the Fantastic Four. And now we start fresh. The MCU is over as we know it after this movie. 
and all the movies will be nice and fresh and we can have movies with only one superhero. That hasn't happened since the Avengers, truly. That's a fact, you can look that up. There has not been a single MCU movie. Iron Man 3 had a cameo, if you count that. <laughs> and so did Thor 2. But, um, so if you, if you don't count the cameos, we, we have to go back to before Avengers till we had a, 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 a truly solo movie. Uh, and I really want us to go back to solo movies and I can't wait for Far From Home. Absolutely, Spider-Man is my, I'm, like I said, I'm a DC kid. The only comics I read growing up for Marvel, sorry, I'll edit that out later. Boston has, has there's one second left in the game and Toronto's up 2-1. So I'm looking at a lot of money if Toronto, if this one second goes my way. Uh, so stay tuned for a good live reaction. Uh, let me, th well, while they're thinking this out, let me think about, okay, let me talk about the ending, how it's getting. But Doctor Strange has confirmed that there are multiple realities already, or not multiple realities, infinite realities, infinite universes, just like Rick and Morty. You can go see my highlight that spoils the whole thing. Um, so in these uh, infinite universes, they're gonna use this fourth act to close off storylines for the characters that are done. That some will die, I'll tell you who will die. Do you want, spoiler alert, close your ears if you don't wanna know who's gonna die. Hulk will die, uh, Iron Man will die, Thor is a 50-50, and uh, War Machine will definitely die. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of their characters. Um, uh, I think that's it. I think that's it that will die. Uh, the rest will, will survive the fight, especially Captain Marvel. Hulk is going to die... Uh, so the reason these alternate realities, some of them will have to like be dead in these realities. Like, like Steve said in the trailer, like, this is going to work. Be or Black Widow said, this is going to work, Steve. And he said, I don't know what I'm going to do if it doesn't. And the look, it looked so, it was, it looked so well directed that shot on his face, just like the shot of Cap holding, uh, Thanos' gauntlet with his bare strength. Oh my god, that was such an incredible shot in Infinity War. The Russo brothers, they really get this. Like, I cannot wait for this movie. Um, but so this is how they're going to close off the storylines. Uh, Captain America will end up in the 40s and finally get his dance with Peggy Carter. And... Uh, Black Widow uh, will end up with uh, some life where she wasn't, where in her past, uh, you know, she wasn't, a, or she wasn't an assassin. She was a good person her whole life. Um, Hawkeye obviously gets his family back. Uh, so those are three good examples that I can think of at the top of my head. Um, Obviously, time travel is going to be involved in this movie in some way. So, perhaps uh, Doctor Strange put, uh, put a time loop, a spell on the time stone to put the Avengers in a time loop so that they could, go, so that they could go back and then prepare for a fight. Or maybe go fight, maybe it's three hours because they're going to, in the second act, they're going to go fight Thanos, lose, and then they're going to realize they're in a time loop and th so then they know how to win and they get get the job done maybe that's how it ends uh that's a little bit far-fetched for me personally but actually you know that might be my theory that might be how it ends but uh anyway it will end 
with them killing Thanos and a long fourth act, and here's why they're wrapping up the stories. It's very simple. So we can go back, this, so Disney just acquired 20th Century Fox, so now they own the X-Men, now they own the Fantastic Four, and now we start fresh. The MCU is over as we know it after this movie, and all the movies will be nice and fresh, and we can have movies with only one superhero. That hasn't happened since the Avengers, truly. That's a fact, you can look that up. There has not been a single MCU movie. Iron Man 3 had a cameo, if you count that. <laughs> and so did Thor 2. But, um, so if you, if you don't count the cameos, we, we have to go back to before Avengers till we had a, 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 a truly solo movie. Uh, and I really want us to go back to solo movies and I can't wait for Far From Home. Absolutely. Spider-Man is my, I'm, like I said, I'm a DC kid. The only comics I read growing up for Marvel were Spider-Man and Hulk. Because my grandfather, I loved Spider-Man. My grandfather was a collector. So I think, I think Far From Home is going to get, that's why Kevin, Fe like I said earlier, Kevin Feige respects our intelligence that everyone is coming back to life. I, and again, I haven't predicted how, uh, they will undo the snap. Um, oh, I know easily. I just figured it out in my head. Um, uh, Ant-Man. Very important. The, his quantum realm energy. The, the Infinity Gauntlet, when he snapped it, was, uh, damaged completely. Uh, so I don't know if it still works to punch, but the stones don't work with it um after he used them all because it cost him like you say cost him everything and uh they leaked uh or they showed a um an image uh released an image of his weapon perfectly balanced as all things should be it looks awesome i won't tell you what it looks like but it looks sweet uh let's give you a little hint let's go phantom menace <laughs> <laughs> That's a big hint, <laughs> but um, uh, so uh, Iron Man will get have access. Oh, I have a highlight about this. Go to my Ant Man highlight on my in, on Kylo's sil underscore silencer Instagram page um, to find my Ant Man highlight where I talk about what Tony how what tony could do potentially with ant man with hank pym's technology and the quantum energy so uh tony that and that's why spare oh my god it's all coming to me right now it's coming to me right now you're getting the live live prediction not the thought out prediction uh even though i knew the ending but now i know how they're gonna fix it Tony, Doctor Strange said, spare his life and I will give you the stone because the one way, could because Tony obviously needs to be alive because Tony has used whatever technology that is available to him like in the first Iron Man, just like going back to the original. That's what, I feel like this one's gonna be all about going back to the original Avengers movie. When you know, Iron Man 1 was like such a revolutionary movie CGI wise because it was possible it looked possible like like we, we don't have the tech yet but it, like you know like it looked possible none of this shit looks possible now of his shit looks possible now it looks awesome I love it I'm all for it I agree with it it's just a point that my friend made so but you know he's out of food and water uh he's gonna be he doesn't even have his Iron Man suit on in the trailer. I hope that's that's a digital edit. I, I, I hope he's in an Iron Man suit uh, for this last fight. Um, and especially a special Iron Suit. Another theory, uh, Banner Hulk. You know, when Banner, Super Hulk, uh, when 
Banner and Hulk become one. Like, Banner literally becomes Hulk. <laughs> like, they're the same. And they're, he's absolutely unstoppable. So he'll, he'll be the one to kill Thanos, actually. Um, not Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel will be there to occupy Thanos. Because Captain Marvel actually gets stronger as uh, as uh, she gain, absorbs energy. So, I mean, the stones with the gauntlet damaged... Maybe he can still... I don't think he can use the stones, but maybe he can. And that's where Captain Marvel will come to play, or just, you know, to kick his ass. But but Hulk's getting the final kill, but it'll, it'll have to do with uh, the real, it, the end game. They each have to end up in this certain reality. Uh, and so Hulk has to die, and Tony has to die so Pepper can live. And, uh, who else dies? Oh, Captain doesn't die. I already mentioned Captain goes and has his dance with Peggy. And, uh, then, uh, we, or we'll see all the characters get unsnapped, come back to life. And then we'll get some set up for the future of the MCU. The after credit scene is going to be very, very important. Make sure you stay for the after credit scene on this Marvel movie. Because it's it's gonna be an important one. Um, all right. So thanks for watching uh, or not watching if you don't want to know <laughs> uh, the spoilers. Uh, again, they're not officially spoilers. They're just predictions that I have a hundred percent confidence in. So. Uh, Thank you for watching. Goodbye, YouTube.